The recent deaths of three people tied to the U.S. consulate in Juarez, Mexico, are calling attention to the spreading all-too-violent drug trade. Juarez is a critical city in the battle between drug gangs over trafficking routes to the U.S. In 2009, Mexico witnessed more than 2,600 people murdered there in drug-related violence. It's happening in very specific areas where the cartels are fighting it out either with rival cartels or with Mexican law enforcement and the Mexican military. Almost 18,000 people have been killed across Mexico since President Felipe Calderón launched a military offensive against drug traffickers in December 2006. Government officials say most of those dead are rival smugglers, but the dead also include at least 620 women, 1,500 police officers, and 87 soldiers. Criminals are growing stronger, backed by a drug trade that can finance weapons, enough to challenge Mexican law enforcement. It, it's not clear that the Mexican government has control. It's put a lot of troops into places like Juarez, but it's not clear that it's actually managed to crack down. The U.S. has been helping Mexico with equipment, such as helicopters and speedboats, to fight drug traffickers. The FBI helps Mexican officials with intelligence gathering. But experts say more needs to be done to control the porous border between the countries. The problem has to be addressed in an, in, 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 in an integrated fashion. Uh, it can't just be focusing on, on one side of the border. Several days ago, an American consular employee and her husband were killed after being gunned down in their car. The husband of another employee was fatally shot in a separate incident. Analysts say the deaths of the Americans may put more pressure on the Obama administration to act. This is a mid to long term transformation. Uh, that could take, you know, 10 to 15, 20 years. It, this is not the sort of thing that one can say, okay, we've done this and everything should be fine by next year. Mexico's president has asked the United States to share responsibility in the battle against drug traffickers. In 2007, during the Bush administration, the U.S. and Mexico signed the Merida Initiative, a $1.5 billion plan to fight the narcotics trade. The money has been earmarked. But how it will be spent is still being determined. Colin Campbell, Washington.